here we have in practice tests for Rusk Babbitt. Um, it's a set of six exams you will find in Udemy and the link in the description. And um, every exam is composed of 30 questions and the duration for it is one hour, which means that you will have approximately two minutes to solve every question. And that's how it works uh, in the actual certifications exams. Um, so let's jump into it. Uh, we will begin the test and um, you can pause the video and every um, question and uh, try to solve it by yourself. So the first question, which of the following is not a system family? And the answer is Windows. Next question, which command allows you to determine the identity of an important object and the layer on which it resides? The answer is query. The third question, after adding dimensions, you can change their appearance, add dimension text and adjust witness lines. The answer is true. The fourth question, when drawing a wall, you can select any of the following planes to be the wall center, to, to be the wall location line. Choose all correct answers. Um, all the correct answers are the finish face exterior, finish face interior, and the core face exterior. Next question, a wall's dots specifies which of its vertical planes is used to position the wall in relation to the path you sketch or otherwise specify in the drawing area. The answer is location line. Next question. What types of dimensions are in Revit? Choose all correct answers. And the correct answers are linear, angular, and radial. Next question. What will locking a dimension do? Um, the answer is Dimension values cannot be changed, thus movement of the reference elements will be restricted. Annotations automatically appears in all views. And the answer is false. Next question. by buildings and is prepared by grading, excavating, filling, or a combination of these? The answer is a building pad. Next question. If you link a DWG file, Revit automatically updates the geometry to reflect changes to the extract files. However, you cannot explode the next extracts to Revit elements and true. A detailed drawing of part of a view. The answer is call out. The following CAD File formats can be linked to a Revit model. Choose all the possible answers. And here we have DWG possible, DXF, SketchUp, DGN, all are possible. When you delete layers in an imported file or a linked file, the layers are no longer available to the Revit project, however, they still exist in the original CAD file. And the answer is true. 
After you link an IFC file to the Revit model, the IFC file is listed in the following locations. Um, choose all correct answers. And the possible correct answers are the project browser, the manage links yellow, and the visibility graphics overrides yellow. Linked IFC files are read only in a Revit model. True. You can delete unused families or unused family types from your projects and templates by using purge. You can attach all tops to non-vertical reference planes. True. To create your own custom family, the answer is you can duplicate and modify the types within system families to create your own custom system family types. Grid lines are finite planes. True. To load system family types, you can create a new system family directly or the answer is transfer all system family types of a selected and from one project to another. Use dots when you are creating a new template or project or any time that you need to transfer all the types of a system family or families. The answer is transfer system family types to add a witness line which exact steps you should follow. The answer is number one. The scale tool is available for all above. You can resize the elements in 2D views but not in 3D views. The answer is false. When dimensioning elements such as doors and windows, you can select either the The answer is edge of the element or the center of the element. You can use trim and extend with elements such as the following and the answer is all above. Walls are drawn, walls that are drawn using ellipse. The location line must be set at the wall center line. When you use the wall tool, whichever wall type you select, the default structural usage is bearing. False. The default structural usage is non bearing. You can work with slanted walls in. Plans, schedules, sections, elevation. Uh, select all correct answers, and the answers are plans, sections, and elevations. When creating an architecture wall, you can specify the following properties on the options bar. Choose all the correct answer. <coughs> so here we have the depth, drawing status and the unconnected height. 